I think I bought like a, a screenwriting book out of the out of the, the mall or whatever, out of some some bookstore, and figured, man, I people always ask me to do skits and stuff. Let me see if I can make a full length. And from that point on, it was funny because after I made the record. I remember it was sitting around for like a year about the record label and people like kind of like what do we do with this you know and my concept then was look because Master P came up came out with that about it about it movie I'm about it whatever I was like yo I'm telling you I'm gonna get all these people do a low budget film to compliment the, 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 um, the record blah 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 but I think they couldn't see my vision it was like but what's this record? Who's, there's no singles on it. There's, what's the concept? Nobody's ever done this before. I'm sitting around for a whole year biting my nails hoping nobody comes out with the same idea. In the meantime, the label didn't want to invest any money in, into the whole situation. So that made everything seem pretty awkward. Finally the record comes out and it wasn't, it wasn't until I got um, any type of praise or critical acclaim is when it's like, wow, we've got something here. And, and then create a further irony is that when I started on the next record, they was telling me all the reasons why that record didn't sell. Well, you, you didn't have any things to have whatever, so I was okay, I'm gonna make this next record, which is politics of the business. Then they asked me, can you make a movie to go along with this one? I'm like, I tried to teach you that the first time, but it was way after the fact, they didn't want to invest the money, so I sold the, 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 the rights to Chris Rock, because he said, y'all wanted to film it, which is still pending, you know, it's like he still owns the rights whenever he has time we could finally shoot the thing in full. You know, we have like little clips in here and there that we did a video for, whatever, we see Everlast and Cool Keith, but never the full funding. So, you know, then you got the stuff when MTV came out, the little hip hopper stuff, the Carmen and people like, oh, I'm like, man, that's one thing in hindsight I wish I could have capitalized on more was Instead of like people dogging my vision and me being insecure about my work like most artists are, if I was a little more aggressive and made things happen, if, if, I, if there was an understanding and maybe the, I don't know back then in 98 if digital film was popular then or as a medium as it is now, I would have did that whole thing myself and financed it myself and made the cheese off of that and you know, showed them up because that's just, that's, I think, is, is my motivation for everything, is just being dissed all the time, you know? It's like, I'll show them, I'll show them. And I would've showed them, you know? But it, it's, that's one thing after the fact that I really didn't take advantage of.